We were talking about earlier Hillary Clinton calling for the expansion of Social Security as a part of her plan for the economy. Watch this. Protecting and expanding Social Security doesn't just help older Americans retire with dignity. It helps to ease burdens on families and communities. By moving toward reform, we will unleash a lot of new income and growth, and we will level the playing field so that American workers can't be taken advantage of because undocumented workers can be exploited by employers, which is one of the reasons we have this disconnect. All right. Speaking of disconnects, Dan Mitchell is with us, and he has said that Social Security as we know it is going broke. So, Dan, expanding it at this point, what do you make of that? Imagine this is the scenario. You've been smoking two packs of cigarettes a day for 30 years. You go to the doctor. The doctor says you have cancer. Do you suddenly start smoking three packs of cigarettes a day? I mean, we have a $37 trillion inflation-adjusted hole in Social Security. And Hillary Clinton, I thought it was simply because she had to fend off Bernie Sanders right. in the primary. But even now, after she has the nomination, she's saying, let's dig this hole deeper. Let's become Greece at a faster rate. Uh, I'm surprised well, my head didn't explode when I saw it. I think maybe she does think she has to fend off Trump a little bit on this. We, uh, Douglas holtz Aiken was with us earlier, and I asked him, I said, does either one of these candidates really care about the debt? Or, or even about higher deficits. And his point, from his point of view as a Republican, he says there's no real quote unquote Republican in the race. And, you know, Trump's talked about preserving Social Security, hasn't he? Trump is Trump is whiffed on entitlements. He has said that he doesn't want to touch them. That's irresponsible enough. That's sort of like being right, in Greece in 2000. Though, right. It's sort of like being in Greece in 2003 and saying everything's fine. We don't need to change anything. But Hillary is saying we're in Greece in 2007 right. and let's increase the size and burden of government. And I think and, and here's what's really sad. I suspect deep down she knows she's being irresponsible, just like she knows she's being irresponsible to come out against trade. But she can't help it. Hmm. Need to make that argument if you want to get elected, is your point. Dan, thank you. It's, um, it's good to see you.